We're here with POFC head coach Pat Leonard after the first day of open tryouts here at uh, Ed Fisher Field in Port Orchard. So, coach, give us an idea of, uh, first to start off with generally, how did the day go? Yeah, it's been great. First off, volunteers that came out and helped us facilitate this was amazing. Uh, great turnout. And then player-wise, amazing turnout. Over 50 guys at an open tryout for a team that's never kicked a ball. And for the the most part, almost every, like really high level, good playing soccer, like good level of soccer. It was fun. And we were able to do different things, 1v1s, 2v2s, possession, small sided games. We got a really good look at a lot of different aspects of players' games. How will tomorrow be different than today's session? What do you got planned? For? Yeah, tryout wise, you know, we're going to open it up. I think we really hyper focused on smaller sided stuff today and then tomorrow we go kind of traditionally into your 11 v 11 more open style of play well, that'll be interesting yeah. so what did you want to get accomplished going into today that you did accomplish yeah i would say you know identifying players that fit the style of play that we as a coaching staff want to want to provide for the club so that sort of brave attacking style of play we've been talking about you know really picking out the guys that stand out and show that early on and then looking for that even more so tomorrow in a full-sided game. So this was the first function with the club for the coaching staff of three, you and Mark Novak and Sam Gomez. Yeah. So tell me about that. I saw you guys up in the bleachers exchanging notes, but as a core group of coaches, how did it go for you guys today? Yeah, I mean, What's great about working with those guys is we're already so in tune with each other and tapped in on thought process. It's, it's almost like we're kind of answering each other's thoughts and bouncing ideas off of each other. So Mark will know what I'm thinking about somebody and offer his perspective on it. And that is allowing us to build. And I know I can trust his perspective and Sam's perspective. And we're all kind of in sync in that way. I think it just allows us to better facilitate when you have this many turned out for tryouts. It helps us facilitate it properly. Now tomorrow I hear that maybe Sam is going to do the player role side of things, Sam Gomez. Yeah. Um, that he, that's what I've heard, that he might okay. be on the, on the pitch. Is that a surprise to you? Perhaps not. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell there's a reason we saw it. There's a reason he's been announced okay. as a player coach already. You know, if he wants to put on the cleats and get in and okay. lift the standard of play, I'm all for it. That's Believe me. what and I I'll heard from Mark. So. Well, and I'll tell you what, once he's playing, I think guys will go, oh, okay, this okay. is the standard that they're looking for. I okay. think it will lift it. And not that it wasn't there today, but it's just, I mean, he, his play is just a natural lift of level. So I got two final questions for you. The, yeah. fir the first one is, uh, what message do you have for the guys that tried out today? I think my message would be, I mean, same thing I said to them out there. You know, one, thank you, because they're giving us this launching pad for this club that exceeds the expectations I had months ago. I mean, now what I'm expecting has gone up and up, but for where we were at when we were first talking about this to where we are now, it's gone through the roof. And then two, you know, I think it takes a lot to come out here, but then to continue to do so. And they're starting to see what we're looking for. And I think they know that. So just continuing to work toward showing us their aspects of their game and the strengths of their game that they think will apply to what we want. And then we'll piece it together. And then the final question would be, uh, as we look past tryouts, even though there's one more day left, uh, what's the formula here for building the team? You've got some players who are, couldn't make the tryouts, yeah. who were on your radar, so you somehow got to blend that with what you've seen here. What's the formula? Well, what's cool is this club's so local and it feels so close to home, but part of that is the players that are coming out here. You know, there's some that we don't know, but there's a lot of them that we are familiar with. And you're starting to piece all of that together with these new faces that are new to us as well. But I say that because the players that we're identifying in the background that may not have been here today are players that we can see blending into our style of play. And then you start to see, oh, I see how he can fit in with so-and-so and how they can piece together. And, oh, those two in that front three will look great. And you start getting that kind of, like, imagination side of it where you're starting to piece it together in your head. And that's the exciting part for me because it's, it's getting closer to what we're building and what we're trying to do. So I'm excited. Okay, well, it was an awesome day. The weather cooperated, a little chilly, but who cares? It was sunny. Clouds Great. came in in the last 10 yeah, minutes. I'm good with did. that. <laughs> Great first day for POFC. Thanks, Coach. 100%. Thanks.